Okay, everyone, welcome to this uh, video lesson. Make sure that you are um, taking good notes. You have your paper and pencil out ready to copy uh, in order for you to understand this, uh, this lesson completely, right? So the first thing we're going to identify is the name of these notes, right? And these notes are called parts of circles, right? So we're going to go through the eight distinct parts of a circle. Right. All right. So let me zoom in here. So the first part of the circle we're going to notice is called the center. So the, the center, it says a point that is equidistance or the same distance, right, from any point on a given circle. So what it's pretty much saying is that, see, if we pick any point on this circle here, right, the center is at the same distance. Right, the center is the same distance from, oops, too big, right? The center is the same distance of all those points, right? So the center of the circle, if we pick a point here, a point there, a point there, a point there, a point there, they're all equal distance from the center. Right? So that is the center of a circle. Okay, next is called the radius. It says a line segment that runs from the circle center to a point on the given circle. So this is saying that a radius is a point from the center that goes to the side, right? So if we pick another point, right, on the circle and we do a line from the center to the side that's the radius right or pick another point so any point and distance that goes from the center to the side or from the side to the center is called the radius okay that's a radius more than one radius these are three are called radii right radii Next term is a diameter. So the diameter is a cord that runs through the circle center. So a diameter is a line that goes from one point of the circle on a circle to another point on the circle, but it goes through the center of the circle, right? Technically, this is like two radii. This would what be one radii radius, and this would be another radius. But when they connect, they go all the way across, just like that, right? So if I picked another two points, I pick that point and that point, right? Another diameter would be from one point to another to the other point going through the center. So any line, any segment that goes from one point to another point on a circle and hits the center, that is called a diameter. Okay, next term is a chord. A chord says a segment that connects any two points on a given circle, right? So here we have a point here. And we have a point there. Now, the line that connects these two points is called a chord. Technically, this diameter is a chord as well, right? It connects one point to the other point with a line, with a segment. But this one goes through the center. Chords do not have to go through the center. So I can pick another point here and a point right there. And if I connect those two, this is also a chord like that. Look at that, right? I can connect this one with this one here and that's a chord, right? Because it's one point connecting to another point, right? So any point any segment that's inside the circle that connects points, two points 
on the circle are called chords. Okay, four more terms. That's four terms, four more, four more to go. Okay, next we have a central angle. Okay, a central angle is an angle whose vertex whose vertex is a given circle center and whose legs are or sides intersect the circle. So a central angle, that means that the angle is formed in the center. So if we have a point there and a point there, right? And then a third point there. Now the vertex, which or the center of the angle, goes is formed in the middle, in the center of the circle. Right? The an angle is formed right there. Look at that. There is an angle. Right? That's a central angle. It's in the center. Central angle. Right? Now, I can form another one here. If I put another point on this circle and I connect it there to the center and that point connects to another point here, that forms this central angle. See? So the angle is in the center of the circle. That is a central angle. Okay? Next, we have an inscribed angle. So an inscribed angle, an angle whose vertex lies on a given circle and whose legs or size intersect the circle at two other points. So this is also forming an angle by three points, right? So we have one, two points, three points. Now, the only thing that's different on this one is that the angle is not in the center. The angle is actually all the way across the other side. Look at that. All the way across the other side. And it's formed right there. See? Look at that. So from one point on the circle, across, and then back up, it forms that angle right there. Right? That angle. Look at that. It forms that angle. That is an inscribed angle. Now, if you notice, that's different than the central angle here because this is forming in the center of the circle. This goes all the way across to the other side of the circle. The angle is touching, look, right here, the side of the circle. So that's what we call an inscribed angle. Next is secant. This is called a secant. So a secant is a line, a ray, or a segment that intersects a given circle at more than one point. So if you notice this one, so we have two points, right? We have two points right there. But this one, the line goes through the circle. It passes the circle and it goes through the circle. See, and there is the line right there. Look at that. It goes forever that way and forever this way. So it goes, it pierces the circle, right? So we can pick another two points like this, there and there, right? And we would do, right, like that. And arrow that way, and an arrow that way. That would be a secant, because it goes through the circle. Right? Through the circle is a secant. Okay, finally, our last uh, term here, our last part of a circle, is a tangent. So a tangent is a line or array segment that intersects a given circle only at one point, even if extended. So it only touches the circle one time. So let's take a look. Look at that. It touched the circle right there, and it keeps going 
forever that way and forever that way. So it only touches the edge of the circle, the edge of the circle, right? So we can do another one right here like that. And the tangent would be like this. Look, it barely touches the circle, right? And only touches it one time. Look at that, only right there, right? We can even do one more. It goes right here. Look at that. And so the tangent would be like this. Look at that. It only touches the circle right there, just that one time. So that's a tangent. All right, so those kiddos are the parts of the circles that you're going to work on in this assignment, okay? So make sure you watch this video again if you have to, just to clarify yourself with the circles, with the parts of the circles. And uh, good luck on the assignment, and see you next time.